Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today in this video we are talking about artificial intelligence powered Playwright. I mean Playwright has not really released any artificial intelligence support by itself like Microsoft Playwright but this is another company called ZeroStub who has introduced this new Playwright test with artificial intelligence capability. So now we are in the generative AI world and this age has really changed the way how the whole stuff can be used like ChatGPT, the new generative AI, how this is leveraging the power of artificial intelligence in each and every components and systems starting from operating system to office to Dynamic 365 and through the GitHub Copilot and now all the way to the artificial intelligence in the automation testing. So this is the time that I was expecting it to happen pretty sooner and now this is already happening and you can see that this zero step company has really brought this way better than i was expecting and if you see this a new website like zero step they have got this zero steps ai function to unlock the power of gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 to make playwright test simpler and more realistic to chart to change so what does that really mean is that all you have to do is like just tell in your like a natural language like how you need to interact with this particular website then it is going to do automatically everything for you and they have given some examples like how this can be done all you have to do is is like just open up any of the playwright in it uh, command to initialize a playwright test project and then you can start writing the code by just adding this reference the uh, zero step playwright hyphen d that's it and you're pretty much done with this this is the only thing that we gotta be doing and other than that you can see that it is a free for thousand ai function calls per month but if you're going to be going a bit bigger then you have to choose the plan like they have like 20 dollar per month for 2000 uh, per month uh, function call and $40 for 4000 $60 for 6000 something like that. So you can keep increasing based on how you're actually going bigger with that. So that is the whole idea of this particular zero step. And I can quickly show you a demo of what this is already doing. I have already recorded this whole stuff over here. I mean, it's not recorded really. I have written this code. There is no record and playback stuff so far in this company. Probably they will bring up that one as well for you. But as you can see over here, this test, what it does is like, it is going to open up my eaapp.somi.com website. And then it is going to click on the login link. It is going to enter the username as admin and password as admin and then it's going to click the login button so i'm just pretty much writing like a test case like a manual test scenario and then i'm waiting for the page to load for this particular url which is something an intent which tells this particular ai to wait for this whole operation to complete so there is no way that you can tell that the page is fully loaded like the playwrights operation needs to kick in in this particular point of time that's why we have this playwright stuff over here and then I'm going to say that click the employee uh, list link and then uh, just verify if the page is this one and then click on the create new button and then do this, this, this thing. And you'll also see that I'm saying that fill out the form with a realistic value. So I'm not really telling any values there. I'm just telling that fill out with a realistic value. And this AI automatically knows that what value to be filled in for that particular form and it fills for you automatically. So if you have not seen our Exit Automations uh, website, the eaapp.swami.com website, which is this one, you'll see that this is the site. I'm telling that go and click this login and enter the username as admin and password as password, something like this. And I'm asking it to click login and I'm asking to click the employee list and hit this create new. And then I'm asking to fill some useful data there. And I'm also not telling to click the create button, but I'm just saying just go and submit the form and then you expect the page to have this index there. And I'm also telling AI that, hey, scroll down the page and get if the above filled realistic value which is this value that you have filled exists on the page so i'm not even aware of what realistic value it has really filled i'm just telling ai to go and fetch that particular realistic value exists on this particular page and if it does then you just expect it to have that value in that particular page so i'm just saying expect the value not to be null there so we'll see how this is actually going to work. So I'm not even going to write this code to bore you like how all these things have been done because it's quite straightforward. The code is straightforward. All you have to do it is here a weight of AI and the natural language and then you got to pass the page and the test because the test is the test which is the playwright test which does this thing for you. So you got to be passing those two properties for making those to happen. 
that's it so this is super cool right like and even the setup as you can quickly show you that as well is very straightforward as well so if you go over here you have to just add the uh, zero step slash playwright over here and you are pretty much done i have did some more tests over there but this is the only test that we are going to be executing basically so i'm just going to open my terminal over here i was just executing before this particular demo uh, so all you have to do is is like you need to do like npx playwright test and then choose the exact test that you are trying to run the same playwright command which is the ea test.spec.ts file this guy so i'm going to go and execute that and once i do that you see that the browser is going to be spawned and then ah oh, there we go it fails for the first time i've seen this anomaly many times like first time it fails and second time it passes and then third time it fails fourth time it passes so yeah i don't know why the even number is not quite right so you see here now the page is again opening and this time it just works like it enters the admin username and password it gonna click the employee list it's gonna hit this create new button there we go and it's also going to enter the realistic value automatically it's going to click the create and done you see that it's passed already and this test has got passed as well pretty cool right like now i can just do an npx playwright show report to show me the report of what execution has really happened for me over here so you see that all these operation has taken place and it's all passing as well which is pretty cool and just about this api call that you just saw on this particular um on this particular pricing like thousand ai function call per month it is basically like an api call to the zero step which is being uh, charged for you so all these code that i have done, done over here like ai 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 so these are all and call uh, or an ai function which is going to be called to that particular uh, zero code platform and so i have made like one two three four five six seven eight eight api calls or ai function calls for this particular test so if your test is going to have like thousand of them then you run you're going to run out within just like one test itself so make sure that your test is pretty comprehensive so that you don't keep doing same thing again and again i was trying to make like entering the username as admin and password as password in one single line but unfortunately it didn't work uh, i think that's the reason why there is also another website which is the auto playwright like a community version of the playwright which is going to use the gpt4 uh, turbo version of it automatically for you and you can use that i mean i can show you or create a separate video about it it's a free version it's not like a zero steps the uh, priced version but it is it's not very efficient as like the zero step version because you can see over here the zero step already has got a platform for you so all you have to do is like if you just go and sign in over here it's going to take you to an app.zerostep.com and it will ask you to sign up and i've already signed up that is the reason why i get this particular dashboard over here and you see that i have used around 155 requests so far for this month and i'll be probably running out pretty quickly and you'll see that once i do that uh it is going to be showing up over here you can also do the user management billings and subscription and because i'm in the free version i'm pretty safe to use still more request there and you also see that i have got an api key over here so this api key is the one which i will be using for my execution really so if you can just see that i'm going to be using for this test execution and now you may ask like how did i connect it to this particular api key well i just did this i did the export and then the uh, zero step token and then i pass this token over here so you gotta be doing this particular line if not this is not really going to work so you definitely have to do this zero step token to be passed in so i have did that as well and that's the reason why this is working for me but yeah guess what this is already working as expected as i told you uh, and uh, you can also do quite a lot of tests over here like you can now try to do one more time like npx playwright uh, and then uh, test something like this and if you try running it as i told you the even numbers are not quite happy things for this particular test alone so it's gonna eventually fail uh for me but yeah there we go unfortunately it's working but yeah but you already got the idea right like how this this particular playwright's new artificial intelligence is really working fine for us and how this is going to make the changes for us and you can see that the good thing about this particular playwright's uh, new ai capability with this zero step is that 
you don't even have a single locator so uh, that's what the website also say in the marketing so if i just go to this website it they tell you that you don't have to write even a single uh, locator it's all going to be done without even having a single locator uh, and you also can see in this particular this github page they have given you the step-by-step -step instruction for the installation you got to be running this particular command and then you got to be exporting this zero step token and there is some sample code and you're done that is how this whole thing is going to happen and i'm quite excited like how this whole natural language interaction from chat gpt has taken all the way to the automation testing so i guess now it's very important for us to learn the prompt engineering so that we know how to ask a particular prompt with chat gpt so that it can understand what we're trying to ask so that it can process that naturally and that's exactly what has led to this particular step as well in this particular code because all i'm trying to do in here is like i'm just asking chat gpt like a prompt and this chat gpt is doing all those magic for you but here it's not chat gpt but it is yeah it is still using the api of chat gpt i think this is using the 3.5 uh, version of the model or maybe four uh, but but yeah as of now during this recording it is still evolving and the zero step is quite awesome and i would see that this is how things are going to transform from the conventional approach to testing with the zero step approach like how they have given all these things over here quite exciting life or probably testing way ahead for us uh, even manual test engineer or automation test engineer confusion that we have all these days by writing code is going to start fading away pretty quickly i guess what do you guys think just let me know and catch you in the next one thank you